Ave Maria, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome again to Franciscan Vesper or Evening Prayer. Today, May 18, year 2020. And we have a saint, Saint Felix of Cantalice, religious. So Felix Pori was born in the year 1515. He received the habit of the Capuchin Friars in 1543. For 40 years, he served as quester in the city of Rome, giving a wonderful example of simplicity, innocence, and charity. He died in Rome in 1587, endowed with extraordinary gifts from God. So, uh, in our Vesper, all will be taken from the proper of St. Felix because it is a feast, a Franciscan feast. Lord, open my lips to praise your holy name. Cleanse my heart from many wordless, evil, distracting thoughts. Give me the wisdom and love necessary to pray this office with attention, reverence, and devotion. Father, let my prayer be heard in your presence, for it is offered through Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. Saint Felix, even as an innocent youth, you were resplendent with many virtues, and ever renowned for blameless conduct, planted in Francis' fertile garden, Covered with many beautiful blossoms, you bear abundant fruit. With unremitting toil and fasting, you afflict your body, and subduing it with scourging, you offer yourself a victim to God. You offered help to the feeble, here in this valley of tears, now in your abode among the saints. Give ear to the prayers of your clients. Glory to God the Father, and to His only begotten Son, together with the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, now and for all eternity. Amen. First Antipon, the Lord raises up the lowly from the dust. From the dunghill He lifts up the poor, to seat them with the princes of His people. Alleluia. From Psalm 113 Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed, both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens His glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who has risen on high to His throne. Yet stoops from the heights to look down, to look down upon heaven and earth. From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from his misery he raises the poor, to set him in the company of princes, yes, with the princes of his people. To the childless wife he gives a home, and gladdens her heart with children. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. First Antipon, the Lord raises us, the lowly, from the dust. From the dunghill he lifts up the poor, to seat them with the princes of his people. Alleluia. Second Antipon, he was found to be perfect, without stain. He shall enjoy eternal glory. Alleluia. From Psalm 146 My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that they come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas in all they contain. 
It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free, the Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but towards the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Second Antipon, He was found to be perfect without stain. He shall enjoy eternal glory. Alleluia. Third Antiphon Praise be God who chose us to be holy and blameless, full of love. Alleluia. From the canticle of the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 3 to 10. Praise be the God, of, praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began to be holy and blameless in His sight. He predestined us to be His adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was His will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor He has bestowed on us in His Beloved. In Him and through His blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan He was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in Him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Third Antiphon, Praise be God who chose us to be holy and blameless, full of love. Alleluia. Our reading is taken from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians, chapter 3, verse 1 to 4. Since you have been raised up in company with Christ, Set your heart on what pertains to higher realms, where Christ is seated at God's right hand. Be intent on things above rather than on things of earth. After all, you have died. Your life is hidden now with Christ in God. When Christ our life appears, then you shall appear with Him in glory. Responsory, Christ peace must reign in your hearts. Dedicate, dedicate yourself to thankfulness. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ peace must reign in your heart. Dedicate yourself to thankfulness. Alleluia, alleluia. You have been called to be members of one body. Response, dedicate yourselves to thankfulness. Alleluia, Alleluia. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Response. Christ, peace must reign in your hearts. Dedicate yourselves to thankfulness. Alleluia, Alleluia. Canticle of Mary, let the little children come to me. The kingdom of God belongs to such as this. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For He has looked with favor on His lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is His name. 
He has mercy on those who fear Him in every generation. He has shown the strength of His arm. He has scattered the proud in the conceit. He has cast down the mighty from the thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be. Work without end. Amen. Canticle of Mary, let the little children come to me. The kingdom of God belongs to such as this. Alleluia. Intercessions. Let us humbly implore Jesus our Savior and say, Jesus, source of true wisdom, hear us. Jesus Christ, who gave your disciples the special commandment to love one another, responds, Grant us to strive to do good to all people. Christ who said, Blessed are the single-hearted, for they shall see God, responds, Help us to recognize your image in our brethren. Christ our peace and reconciliation, grant our departed Christ our peace and reconciliation, response, grant our departed brethren the enjoyment of your blessedness with your saints. So, my brothers and sisters, in this feast of Saint Felix, let us include in our Franciscan Vesper our family, friends, relatives, and loved ones, and let us include also our frontliners and our brothers and sisters affected by this coronavirus. Now, now let us pause a moment of silence for our own personal intention. Now let us pray together the prayer our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty God, you gave St. Felix to the Serapic family and to the church as an example of evangelical simplicity and innocence of life. Following his example, may we strive to love and joyfully to follow Christ alone, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, your family, friends, relatives, and loved ones, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. So thank you very much for praying me, for praying with me this Franciscan Vesper. And remember always, smile, be happy. Mama Mary loves you. Ave Maria.